Hello and thank you for checking out this video. Real quick of what you're about to watch. So this is a, um, a recap after about two hours of gameplay on Evil Dead the game. I'd been playing um, as Ash and some other characters and been just discussing different topics about um, demons and being possessed and demonology, all this kind of stuff. And at the end of the video, um, I went full screen and I just did a quick recap. So this is by far is not an in-depth kind of study or anything like that. There'll be more stuff coming out. This is just a quick recap of some of the things we talked, but I thought there was some value in it um, and it might benefit you if you're interested in the subject. Come back um, over time. I will update the description as I produce more and more content on the subject, but there's some really good resources in there. A couple of things I referenced. I thought it was worth pulling this out and making this its own little clip. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, I'm gonna take just a minute um, recap some of those things. So. Demons are real, right? Demons are most likely and most commonly believed to be um, the angels that when Lucifer is cast out uh, and rebelled against God, falled with him. Um, they can possess a person, but it's it's unlikely. Um, it's going to take a while, a lot. You're going to have lots of opportunities to get off that path. It's going to be a consistent thing that you're moving towards. Um, you want to stay away from things if you are feeling... So there's oppression, which is going to be pretty common. Um, Christians, you're going to probably, as a Christian, you're going to be oppressed. You're going to have, especially um, not just because you're, you're not doing well. A lot of times it's like when you are digging and you are deciding to read your Bible more and learn more, a lot of times um, you'll face some demonic oppression, right? Because of you're pressing in and they want to fight back against that. Um, demonized is much more, that's going to be when you are, living a lifestyle that's opening yourself up to that kind of stuff that's like pre-possession but you're going to be have to go very a very long way before you're going to actually be possessed that's very rare very uncommon um especially you know in america you're gonna and it's gonna be like you know drugs alcohol mind altering substances things like that to really over a long period of time to give up your control and let them in um if you're feel demonized as a christian um, evaluate, pray, Lord, what, what's causing this? Confess any sin you may have, let go of any bitterness, hatred, jealousy, that kind of stuff you may have. Um, spend time in prayer and or in praise, praise and worship, right? Get some good music. I would go to sleep with it if you're having dreams or stuff at night, especially if you're seeing manifestations like and seeing demons, they're talking to you, that kind of stuff. Um, sleep with Christian music, like worship music, but then actually worship, spend time. I personally, I'd go over and I'd go through a whole routine of, of, you know, thanking God for who he is, thanking him for what he's done for me, AKA forgiveness of sins and all that. And, and getting and setting that right, knowing who I am positionally in him. Um, and then spending time in worship, right. And then really spending time in worship. I'd really do a, st like a Tony Robbins style state change by like going through for like as long as you need to half hour, if you need to before bed of all the blessings of God, everything he's done for you. Um, and really change your state, right. And then go into a, uh, uh, to a time of worship, like just like joyful worshiping, praising God. Uh, Fred Hammond is a great one to listen to, even if it's not your style, because you're like, I don't know what to pray. Just just sing, put on and sing Fred Hammond songs. He's going to tell you what to say <laughs> and just mean it, right? So that's a great resource. Um, interesting little theory, like I was talking about, about how demons, maybe that those angels are actually... Um, like what we call like more of like an overseer role, like what we call, well, in this game, how that would work out. My arm looks really funny on the camera with the distortion. Look how skinny and long it looks. That's really funny. Look how skinny I love my arm looks like all sickly skinny. Anyways. Um, so in this game, an example of that would be when you play as the demon, that would be like that, you know, that based on that theory, would be like the like one of the the fallen angels, right? And then the little creatures that are spawned, the little lower lanes and stuff, would be like the demons, the demonic, like the the cursed spirits from the Anakin, right? Um, so interesting theory. Uh, go study it for yourself if you if you want to. Again, you should never spend too much time and be too interested in demons or angels. You know, the whole point is is God. And so we read our Bible to learn about God and grow closer to God, not to learn more about demons or even angels. And you can get too, like some people even worship angels. They get too far off of that kind of stuff. Um, Derek Prince, great resource. 
go read or go watch a bunch of his YouTube videos um, on d demonology and, and whatnot. He's got some really good books. One of them is uh, Blessings and Curses. That's really, I've, I've given that to some people. If you reach out to me, um, Jared, J-A-R-E-D at, I oh, know let's go in. I don't know which email address to use. Message me um, on here. Leave a comment here um, or on any of the things. Leave a comment. It's probably going to be the best way. Or message me on Instagram. I'm Jared Arrow on Instagram. Find me there. Um, and I'll do my best to connect with you. Uh, I know there's some issues with like, I'm not, I don't really want to get your address to send it to. So we'll have to figure that out of how um, to send it or whatever to get. But we'll figure it out, right? Um, probably send it from the church. So it's not like I'm getting your address and that, cause I don't want to be weird like that. So we'll figure that out. Um, what else, what else did we go over? Oh, the main thing is just remember that this isn't like a battle of good and evil, like in the game. Um, you're not fighting for victory. So in this game, you're fighting for victory, right? You're either the survivors or you're the demon. And if you're the survivors, you're fighting for victory. Well, as a Christian, you're not fighting for victory. God has already gotten the victory. He's already won. You're fighting from victory. You're fighting to enforce. So big difference. Well, what's the difference? Go spend some time researching that. But um, God and Satan are not like good and evil opposing forces. God is much more powerful. God is all powerful. He's already won, already won the battle. So you, if, as a Christian, you have hope, you have victory in there. If you're not a Christian, just turn to him, to, right? Well, what does that mean? If you're if you're curious, if you're spiritually curious, but you're not really kind of convinced, I my suggestion is to read the Bible and just pray. Just pray. Prayer is just a fancy word of saying talk to God. And literally, I've heard so many testimonies of people who just started this way. God, I don't know if you're real. I don't even think I necessarily believe in you, but I don't know. I think maybe. So I'm going to read this Bible because Christians say this is your word. And if you are real, reveal yourself to me through your word. And just pray that and then read your Bible. Do a 30 day challenge or something like that. And say, God, you got 30 days. I'm going to read your Bible, your word. Christians say, this isn't just a, a bu book. It's your word. Um, I'm going to read this for 30 days. Reveal yourself to me. I'm taking the 30 day challenge, right? Uh, so that's suggestion there for you if you're not a Christian. Um, with that, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments. Let me know. Like I said, I will be doing a full-on flagship piece of content on this. I'll have a lot more live streams as well. Let me know what you think of this whole Geek Church after hours. Is it like cool that we're able to get and, and dive into some of these other topics, deal with some, you know, play some of the rated M games, get in some little deeper... Uh, topics on things or is it like nope super inappropriate can't believe you're doing that jared you're running the geek church brand let me know what you think i'm also thinking about um just some other ideas and whatnot so let me know yeah i appreciate it all right thank you so much for watching that like i said check back in the future i will update links and information um, on future content hey if you enjoyed this video i encourage you to check out the rest of the, the channel and the content do lots of gaming superhero comic book and movie type content of course with spiritual application as well and how it's going to affect your life um, it's a great resource for anyone who is either christian and into this kind of superhero comic-y type world the geek world thus geek church um, or maybe you're just interested maybe you know it, it's drawing you in you're like hey you know what? i'm not a christian but i like some of the content i invite you to stick around hang out kind of see what it is we're doing um, hey but please if you enjoyed this content at all i ask that if you would like and subscribe that's going to help us get the word out. It's also going to, um, you're going to get notifications when new episodes come out. We put content out almost every day, including um, games, streaming games, um, hangouts, online hangouts, and content like this and other stuff. Um, if you're like, hey, where do I go from here? Go check out one of our flagship shows. I suggest uh, First Play. So I'd go check out, check the link in the description. Go check out the actual First Play review of this game. See you next time.